The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 13th, the Friday the 13th edition of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't dial in, you can always send me an email. Send that up early. Send it to Steve at TFN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Now, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got a sea of red. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 18. S&P's down 18. NASDAQ 100, 135. Russell's down 12. Semi's off 65. Tranny's down 57. Gold is up 48 bucks. Silver's up 80 cents. Lights Recruit is up 290. Natural gas off 11 pennies. The 30 year treasury's up one point and five ticks. Printed out at 112, 22, 21. Leading the charge, dollar wise, the upside, you've got Humana. That's about a 10 point move, nearly 2%. Cooper Companies is up 3%, nearly 10 bucks there. Progressive Corp up $10, 7%. Regenerative Pharmaceuticals, nine bucks or 1%. Dollar General is up 8%. That's an $8 move. To the downside, it is Belden Inc. off 26 bucks, 27%. Asimil Holdings down 2.5% or 15 bucks. Broadcom, $13 to the downside. Lamb Research, $12. Supermicro, $12. Rockwell, $12. Sterling Infrastructure, about 12. No, I'm just rounding those, but they're down approximately 12 buckaroonies. So what do you want to look at, folks? Well, I'll tell you what we should look at. Let's go look at the new profiles. Now, you want to get your pad and paper out, write these down. You're going to have multiple profiles because we've got different profiles on different charting systems. Well, that's not true with regard to the ES Mini. So those are the same. You've got new resistance. Now, these profiles will not be confirmed till this evening. But when I get them showing up on both systems, they're usually pretty solid. 44.30.50 is the new resistance level. The new support area is now 43.33. Odds favor, price is going to make its way back to the bottom of that support level. We'll have to look at the intraday charts and see what the message is this morning. If we take a look at the NQ, its profile, now this is going to change. 15,468, that's solid. That's resistance. That's where the sellers are at. I've got two levels of, oh, no, we've got the same level now. Well, that's a beautiful thing when things come into uh, sh uh, shape out here. 15,028 is the bottom of that profile. No new profiles on the Dow or the Russell 2000. So let's try to figure out. Now, yesterday was day one of a pullback. We know that markets now is after being up three, four days, depending on what index, index we were looking at. We know the dance steps of these markets. And it's hard to say just yet with the information that we have available to us whether this is just part of the normal dance step process. And what that means is it would be very normal, completely normal to have a two to four day pullback out there. This, of course, could be day number two or should be day number two, the way that the U.S. dollar index is trading. But, you know, time will tell out there. So we want to watch those support levels and also just recognize the dance steps that the market does. Let's uh, go switch over to 
Yeah, let's go switch over to my other charts out here because uh, we can take a look at other levels that price may be targeting. So if you give me a moment here, those are going to be the oscillator and change areas out here. Uh, what you also may notice just on this first chart, if you were to see the Russell 2000 close below 17, 20, 70, it'll negate its by the D point bottom out there, and that'll suggest lower price most certainly. Now, let's go take the other charts that I have for the daily equity future contract. Other levels to target would be those oscillator and change lines. In the case of the ES Mini, it's so close to 43.33. We're just calling it 43.33. In the case of the NQ, it's presently at 15.075. As price moves lower, 15.028 becomes a likely level out there. In the case of the Dow, it's up at about the 33.658 level. It's just below that. We're trading below that red oscillator and change line right now inside the Russell. So again, if price does close below 17.2070, it's going to be curtains and they move to the downside. But what I also can see here is that would or could trigger wave number seven, that would be letter G. That would need a higher bottom in order to confirm a bottom. So overall, that's what's going on. We take a look at the daily equity future contracts out there. Let's take a, a few moments here and let's go take a look at what's going on intraday. By intraday, let's go take a look at the NQ. And if we just start from lower right, come over to the left on the 10 minute chart, it had a TD9 count top. You don't have that kind of bottom as we speak just yet. It could get to a TD9 count bottom, but it's not present. You've got a spike below the current low of the session here over the course of the next uh, eight, eight, 18, 28 minutes out there in order for that to come to fruition. In the case of the NQ for its 15 minute time frame chart, no bottom there. It's taking out a TD9 count bottom, says it wants lower price. 30 minute chart, same thing. Hey, that 30 minute chart, what is it saying about the market breadth out there? You know, that's an excellent question. I thought I had it. I know I had it. That's the second time. That's weird. Okay, it's gone. That's really weird. Okay, so I got a problem there. We won't worry about that. Uh, with regard to the uh, hourly time frame, the hourly time frame negated a TD9 count bottom. It needs a bullish reversal candle on an hourly basis to then generate a road's momentum indicator bottom pattern. So the NQ, and, and short of that, price should head lower out here. What's the 60-minute market breadth? Well, that one I can't tell you because I do have that open, and this is the S&P 500. But let's go take a look at the NASDAQ 100, and it's bearish for the 60, for the 240, and the daily is slightly bullish, meaning 35 trading above, 25 trading below out there. So it could be a little bit of a choppy market inside the NQ because of the daily market breadth, which is uh, short-term bullish. If we look at a five- or two-hour chart out here, where below its breakout level, that says the next breakout level becomes a price target. 14,949, but we know at 15,028, we've got daily profile support. We have that same message coming from the 240 minute chart out here, 14,965. On the five hour time frame chart, it's signaling to you and I, 14,949. So we know that price is likely headed back into this 14,949, 15,028 level. I'm not seeing anything on my screen out here to suggest otherwise, and that's looking at the NQ. Let's take a look at the ES Mini out here as well. Most people are trading either the ES or the NQ. And so let's go take a look at it. Got to just let this populate. Now, in the case of the ES Mini, we know that it's uh, lower. A uh, profile, new profile that's forming its oscillator and change line. They're at about the 43.33 level. So that really becomes our price target. Now, as we see these other time frames populate, come on, give us the information. Let's take a look at that 10 minute chart. Still calculating, still calculating. Folks, we're just simply going to have to do this as soon as we get back to this break. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. I don't see a bottom here. I do see price at a breakout level of support on the 10 minute. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. So we're looking at the ES Mini. Now, the ES Mini is stronger than the NQ. So the two weak indices right now, two weak equity future contracts, that is, are the Russell and the NQ. Both of those are trading below yesterday's low. Uh, the ES Mini and the Dow is not. And we can see when we take a look at the ES Mini on this 15-minute time frame chart, TD9 count bottom with a uh, uh, threshold level that needs to be, if it's if there's a close below it, which is 4365.50, that would negate that signal. That is still held out there. I've got a hammer candle out here this would be a buy the d point hammer candle from 230 yes uh, 230 on the 12th yeah uh, yesterday that low has to be broken at 4355 4350 4355 50 in order to suggest lower price out there um and we have that new profile 4333 on the daily time frame so that's about it for the ES Mini as we speak right now. We've got a bunch of requests that have come in. So let's start getting to uh, those. The first one, first couple are from uh, yesterday. And uh, this is from, um, I don't know who sent this message, but the request was to take a look at MDT. I believe the question was, is this bottoming? This will complete a TD9 count bottom. This will confirm a TD9 count bottom pattern today. It'll complete that pattern on Monday. It can make a lower low and still be a valid pattern out there. That suggests that what should take place is price should make its way up towards its oscillator and change line, currently printed at 74.14. I don't have a um, daily, a weekly bottom signal out here, so it's really the daily. I don't have a monthly bottom signal. Both the weekly and the monthly are suggesting lower price out here. So watch the daily. The question was, is there a bottom? And the answer is, yeah, we've got a TD9 count bottom that's going to complete by Monday. It will confirm today. That was ticker symbol M, D is in dog, and T is in Tom. The next request was to take a look at UEC. In the case of UEC on a daily basis, we just have a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside a bearish structure daily profile. Support at 474. Odds favor, that's where price is going to make its way down to. Why do you say that, Steve-O? Because last uh, because yesterday, price closed below the center of that 
bearish structured profile. Today, you're still below that level. That's at 520. So a close below 520 today is going to suggest odds favor a move to 474. TD9 count top on the weekly basis. Price made its way back and found support at screen odds center and change line. Um, you're just consolidating with inside its profile levels out here. So just a consolidation. The daily right now, I think, is controlling things. On a monthly basis, everything looks really rosy out here. Why? Because you're above a green house center and change line. You are above the top of its profile. It's still the daily that's calling the shots as we speak. And the daily says, I want to make my way back to 474. If it's making its way back there and it can do it on volume of less than 10.8 million shares, that could be your bottom. And it may just be a consolidation consolidation oriented pattern out there so that's uec and mdt the next request this was for alton wants to take a look at halliburton so let's pull up the hal charts out here and uh this question is will this break topside so what I can share with you is prices up at resistance. The resistance is established here by the swing point from Jan. We're looking at the weekly January of uh, 2020. January. This is the weekly chart. January 20th of uh, 2023 out here, and that had volume at that swing high of 39 million shares. Now, you were pushing into it. Let me see, were you pushing into it last week? You were. You were pushing into it last week with 33 million shares. So 33 was pushing into 39. So you're pushing with volume. Now this week though, what are we at? We're at 30 million shares so far for the week. The average, like for example, yesterday this did about 5.9 million shares. So you're pushing into that swing with volume. Hasn't taken it out, but it should go test that high. At least that's what the weekly chart says. 43.42 is the uh, number. Now the weekly chart, uh, the daily chart is tested a prior swing from September 19th. Now that swing had volume of 7.5 million. Again, today you've done 2 million. So you're coming in with similar or lighter volume on a daily basis. So it doesn't look like it's getting ready to take out that high Alton today. The weekly chart says you'll be back there again and likely next week. Ordinarily, and this is, as you said, looks like a, a triple top out here. It could be. You're trading above the top of the monthly profile. That's bullish out here. Uh, there's a saying or an expression. Some people believe that it's the fourth time up that, or the fourth time down that you break through support or break through resistance. I have never done that study to know whether that's true or not out here. But we can tell you is from a volume perspective, you're likely going to get back up and test that swing point high from back in uh, – whenever that was, January, uh, the week of January in 2020 out there. So, Alton, I hope that that helps you out, and uh, thanks much for the request. Next request coming in from the Tiger's Den is to take a look at the GDX. Next, so there's a couple folks that want to take a look at the GDX. RP is the uh, initials that I wrote down on my system. So, RP, you're in bar number six today. And bar number six, not a topping signal. And this would suggest you're above profile, you're above its oscillator and change line. I would say odds favor move to 29.12. Now we know there's a direct directional correlation between the GDX and gold. So that's assuming gold continues to move higher, which on my charts signals that that is a likely outcome. So too should the GDX. So again, the daily time frame chart, it's price target to the upside, 29.12. On a weekly time frame, the weekly time frame is going to confirm a Gartley buy pattern. Price right now is taking on a key resistance level. That is the center of its bullish structured weekly profile. This is the level where if this is only a counter trend move, we cannot discount that that is a possibility. But if there were only to be a counter trend move, price would find resistance at 2897. 2897. So you're going to we're trading right now at 2897, by the way. Uh, so you're going to want to watch that level. Ideally, price will close above 2897. And if it does close above 2897, it's suggesting to move up to the 3236 level. That is the top of the weekly profile. On a monthly basis, price pulled back to test the support structure of its bullish structured profile. That's between 2353 and 2554. So GDX, Definitely looks like it wants to continue to run higher out there. Yesterday was a down day. This will be the first up day. If we take a look at the typical dance steps of the GDX, the last move was five consecutive sessions. One before that, three. The one before that, three. The one before that, two. The one before that, three. Three, two. You kind of get the feel of this three and two bar move. So we should see the GDX move higher for at least the next couple sessions as well as it targets that uh, TD9 count breakdown level up at that 29.12. So RP and all the other folks that wanted me to take a look at uh, 
uh, the GDX, there you go. Now, we'll go all the way down. GPH wanted me to take a look at Goldilocks out here. So since we're talking about the GDX, we should also talk about gold. So let's get to those gold charts here. Stevie just trying to find them. Thought I had opened them. We did open them, and here they are. So now, with regard to gold, gold should go target that 1952.20 level. Maybe it gets it done by the day. Above that would be 1972.60 out there. So you got a nice TD nine count bottom on the daily time frame. Resistance 1952.20. On the weekly time frame, the weekly time frame is going to confirm a Gartley buy pattern. Why? Because you're now generating a bull sash candle. Now again, much like the GDX on its weekly time frame, there is a area where a counter trend rally would end. In the case of Goldilocks, that would be between 1825 and 18. I say 18, 1925 and 1948. Don't worry, I'll get my numbers right here. And right now we're trading below that 1948 level. That's the key level that you like to see gold close above. If it does, tells us about moving up to 1994 and above that 2084 out here. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We get back, we'll finish looking at this gold chart. I see a TD9 count top that is likely to form inside of gold between 12 and 1 this afternoon. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. .com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at uh, the charts here for Goldilocks. A specific question was any kind of TD9 topping signals. We've got them in the 30, the 60, and the uh, two-hour time frame charts out here. Now, 30-minute chart just completed as we came into this 1130 session. Just completed it. Just confirmed a TD9 count top. That pattern will complete at 12 noon. So whatever the high is, you want to watch that. If price closes above that high, it tells you it's about a still a strong momentum move to the upside. My guess is that's what we're likely to see out here. If we take a look at the 60-minute time frame chart, at 12 noon, you'll get bar 9. At uh, 1 p.m., you'll get the bar following bar number 9. So you'd watch that high. It closes above that, tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside. I suspect that's what we're likely going to see. If we take a look at the two-hour time frame chart, at 12 noon, bar number 8 will complete. That says it by 4 p.m., so between 2 and 4. 4 uh, p.m. out there. Oh, by 12 noon, we get to bar number 8. Then at 2, we get bar number 9. And then we get the bar following bar number 9 going into the close. Those are only topping signals. But uh, this is an emotional rally out there. Uh, I, it looks to me like a pretty emotional rally. And, uh, you know, because of uh, the fire keg that's going on over in the Middle East, that's likely to blow up over the weekend, not calm down. So hard for I don't think anybody's going to struggle taking uh, gold long over the uh, weekend out there. So, yeah, there's some TD9 counts out here. Watch them. It's still the pattern that is out there. I think they're more likely to fail than they are to succeed. But uh, time is going to tell whether that's the case or not. That is going to influence uh, the uh, GDX or the mining stocks out there or should, depending on what gold actually does out here as we get past this 12 noon time frame. We had another request, which was to take a look at natural gas. Natural gas just looks ugly as can be out there. So let's go take a look at those charts. Why didn't that close? Close, close this thing. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's go take a look at the natural gas charts here. That's not what's gonna pop up on our screen, but we'll get there shortly. NG, here we go. Natural gas has tested and rejected several times, basically four times, as TD9 count breakdown level. It's at $3.43. Now, there is a new profile that is attempting to form inside of natural gas. Is it attempting to form or has it formed? It is attempting to form. There is two profile levels. My apology, but that's the way the uh, system rolls out here. The first level of support is at $3.21. If you took a look at the uh, 11 a.m. update, we looked at our nine panel set of charts out there, the e-signal system. Even though I'm using the same data feed, is generating a different value. That value was $3.21. If price closes below $3.21, the white background charts, the Ninja Trader charts, have a support level at $3.14. Coda, you see it close below $3.14. We're likely headed back to those lows out there. It's got a wave seven low bottom. It was just a trade. Price got up to the resistance level. It's still just a trade. Now you've got to watch these support areas. We'll make $3.14 that final level to watch. On a weekly time frame, it's nothing more than a sideways consolidation which has been going on since March of this year. This consolidation is likely to last for a while longer out there. With the powder keg in the Middle East and natural gas can't do squat yeah, I think this is a dead soldier out here. If you are looking to get into natural gas for whatever those reasons might be, do it down around the 290-ish type area down towards the bottom of that consolidation pattern. So it's been consolidating sideways. There's not a darn thing in my system to suggest that it's not going to continue to do that. From a trading standpoint, you're going to get a TD nine count bottom that's going to confirm at 12 noon, complete at 1 p.m. Price should rally up towards its oscillator and change line, currently at 326. The two hour chart is going to form bar number eight as we come into the 12 noon time frame you're going to get a td nine count bottom here by day's end as well and the same is true for the four hour time frame so technically speaking you're going to get those signals out there um but uh Hopefully, if you're looking at natural gas, why not just take off the hat as an investor and just simply do some trading? Because at this stage here, it's nothing more than sideways movement out there. So, Kona, I hope that helped you out with regard to natural gas. There were some other requests that you had in the system as well. So let's get to those. Let me close these charts out here. By the way, thank you for each of these requests. It just makes my job a whole lot easier. It allows me to keep a flow going. I'm pretty good at uh, keeping us on the right set of charts out there. Not great at it, but pretty good at it. So now let's go take a look at DK DraftKings NG out here. And if we take a look at DraftKings, we just got to let this populate. My apology for that. Actually, let me go to my other charts. I can see what's going on real quick there. DKNG. 
And uh, DraftKings uh, is right now just consolidating with inside its profile. And that runs from a range of 27.64 up to 29.39. Now you're pulling back today and you're testing the swing point. That's the swing point from back here on September 25th. The volume on that was 9.7. You're already at 3.1 in two hours of trading. So this is pulling back with similar type volume. If it closes inside that swing point, that would require a close below 28.42. We'd first say price is going to go target 27.64, the bottom of its profile. I would say it's going to go likely target the bottom of that swing point, and that would be at 27.20. And below that is 26.93. It's TD nine count breakout level. Now, if you get below that swing point, even though you got a breakout level of support at 26.93, you get below 27.20, and you do it with more than 9.7 million, you're going to have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you've got a good old-fashioned consolidation there. And that consolidation runs from 28.29 to 33.46. Now, if you notice here, Coda, we haven't seen a close below a bottom of a weekly profile up until we got to right here, and that was the week of, um, of August 18th. This is telling us that the that the um, that there's likely been a change in trend out here. So I'd be careful uh, with uh, DraftKings at this stage. The monthly chart, no topping, yeah, no real topping pattern uh, that I see out here. So we're we'll not paying too much attention to the uh, monthly chart. What I can also share with you, though, is on a 30-minute basis, we take a look at uh, DraftKings out here. You've got a TD9 count bottom, and that completed as we came into the 1130 session. So if DraftKings is going to head lower, this is pretty simple. You just need to monitor the price of 2842. A 30-minute close below that, and it's headed lower. Now, what should take place out here is DraftKings should, on an intraday basis, rise up and get to that 2875 level out there. That is its oscillator and change line for the 30 minute time frame. Above that, the resistance level will be 2928 out there. So that's DraftKings on a 30, a daily, a weekly, and a monthly time frame. And again, thank you so much for that request. The next request coming in from ELO, my favorite band or one of them, Electric Light Orchestra out there. And uh, so let's go. But he's not asking about Electric Lake Orchestra. He's asking about ticker symbol RB. And RB, quite a move today, I believe. What is RB doing? That is No, that was Dollar General. So I don't know what RB is doing. Uh, I do like Arby's, though. Not that I can't eat them these days anymore. Not being on that uh, one meal a day program out there, which is what a lifesaver that's been. So RB is not actually a ticker symbol. So ELO, what did I? I thought you typed in RB. I can't find it here right now. I don't see it. I don't see it. I keep looking. Yeah, I'm going to have to look during a break. Well, we're about to go to a break out there. But let's go to Palantir. We've got S&P inside the Tiger's Den and um, Coda. Both want to take a look at Palantir. The ticker symbol there is PLTR. So it looks like those charts here. If we got to take a look at Palantir right now. Palantir has generated or will generate a sell the D point pattern today if it confirms a bearish reversal candle. That should be pretty easy to do. Right now it's a bearish engulfing candle. When we get back to this break, we'll finish looking at Palantir. Then we'll look at Meta. We'll take a look at price targets for the Russell 2000 equity future contract. We'll try to figure out what ELO wants to take a look at. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, what um, ELO was looking for was looking for uh, 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 gasoline futures out here. So I've switched over to my black background charts. I was struggling to get that to pull up on my white background charts. Uh, so I've got some symbol issues, I think, that are there, and I'll try to get that straightened out later on. But with regards, I don't know what kind of bottom, uh, if any, is, uh, is in here. But uh, today, what I can see is this would confirm a buy the D point pattern. So you do have a bullish reversal candle as we speak right now. And we'll take a look at the November contract out there. I assume that November is the active contract. I don't even have time to check that out. Uh, but what I'm taking a look at right now is the November contract for uh, for gasoline futures. So you, what you've got here is you've got to buy the D-point pattern. Your next resistance level out here, ELO, is up at $2.29. If price can clear $2.29, then the nice next price target would likely be $2.34, which would be the bottom of its weekly profile. We can see on the monthly basis here that price has been able to hold its consolidation. So right now, price is testing that bullish structured uh, area between $2.25 and $2.34, although it's failed in the past. So, you know, hard to hard Hard to hard to really call this one, but the daily time frame you've got to buy the D point pattern. Watch two dollars and twenty nine cents. If you get above that, you should see a further rally. And those are the November gasoline futures out there. Let's go to our next question out here. That oh, did we finish Palantir? I don't think we did. Sorry about that. Let me get to Palantir. Back to Palantir. So, Palantir today. Looks like it's going to complete a sell the D point pattern. It's going to complete it because we've got a bearish reversal candle, bearish engulfing. What price should do here for Palantir is make its way back to its oscillator and change line. That will be its first level of support. That is at 1680. I do not have uh, any newer profiles. The profile levels are well below that at 1472. So first watch 1680-ish. If we look at the weekly time frame, you've got to consolidate with inside profiles between 1423 and about 1757 out there. And on a monthly time frame, Palantir also has a consolidation between profile levels. That's between 1241 and 17. Hold on, let me give it to you. 1763. Uh, so you got a consolidation on the weekly, consolidation on the monthly, daily likely going to give you a sell signal. That should take price back to the 1680-ish area out there. So Coda and S&P, I hope that that helps you out and give you the information that you were looking for there. Coda also wanted to take a look at Facebook, otherwise known as Meta. 
or Meta, otherwise known as Facebook out there. So we take a look at uh, Meta out here. What do we see? We've got a TD nine count top. That confirmed yesterday. It's completing today. It's making its move as it should back to that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 316.15. Give it a few pennies or so. If price closes below the oscillator and change line, that'll tell you that Meta has lost its momentum. And that momentum loss should take price back to 308.54, 300.95, or 298.50. The weekly time frame, you could get a confirmed Roach momentum indicator top today. Right now, you've got a bear shooting star candle. I don't know what it's going to look like at four, but it's got some potential there. It is trading below its, os its oscillator and change line. Uh, so that tells you it's lost some momentum. So what this would say is if we get a confirmed Rose momentum indicator top, price wants to pull back to the 294, 288.57-ish area, but got to watch 316-ish first. That is the daily oscillator and change line. And on a monthly basis, Meta will complete well, Meta will complete as long as it closes the month above 264.72. Meta will complete a monthly TD nine count top. So it looks to me like Meta has uh, pooped out here. Now, what you want to watch on an intraday basis will be the 30 minute time frame. Why is that, Steve O? Because it completed a TD nine count bottom. And that says that if we see Meta on a 30 minute basis close below 317.07. Makes this easy. If it closes below 317.07 with the TD9 count just completing, that's going to tell you lower price. Lower price to where? 305.51. So um, watch that area. That'll just confirm what we're taking a look at. Of course, it can't get to 305.51 until it takes out that weekly oscillator and change line. Again, print in a 316 and change area. So, Code, I hope that gave the information you were looking for for Meta, formerly known as Facebook. Now, What's requested out here is price targets for the Russell 2000. So for that, what I want to do is let's get to the uh, intraday charts out here, the daily plus the intraday time period. So this is going to take just a few moments here to go ahead and populate. Um, while it's populating, um, let me see what some of these messages are. ELO, thanks. You're welcome there. Okay, we got that one. Mr. Bill, I'm showing Meta. Hmm. Was that what? what uh, yeah, I was supposed to be showing Meta when I was taking a look at Meta. Was I? Sh maybe I wasn't. Uh, maybe that was. Well, did I have the RBO? Oh, I sh I'm on the wrong screen. Son of a gun. Am I, on the I am on the wrong screen. Uh, Stevie did that. Well, Mr. Bill, thank you for uh, trying to save me there. I should have paid attention. I wasn't paying attention. Now, uh, so we'll go back to that. Okay, we'll go back to Meta. I'll give. I'll give that to you. So now we're taking a look at the Russell 2000. And we take a look at the Russell 2000, the daily time frame. Again, a close below 17.2070. That's a swing point low from back a few days ago, October the 4th. That becomes the first price target. You're trading inside that swing point. You close below that where are you headed to. Well, that I don't know. I'm going to have to pull up some other charts out here. But just intraday-wise, is there any kind of a bottoming signal? The only bottoming signal as we speak right now comes from... There's two charts out here. TD nine count on the 10 minute basis. So that says you want to watch the low of 173030. You close below that, that says lower price. But the 30 minute chart just confirmed, did this at 11 o'clock, confirmed a rose momentum indicator bottom. Again, that low is 173030. So that's the important low out there. If you close below that, you're headed lower. Yes, to that swing point. You close below that swing point. Again, that was the October 4th swing point. And that number out there was at the 172070 level. So I'd have to pull up some other charts. Let me see here. We can do this. Let's go back here. And let's pull up uh, where I've got at least the weekly, RTY, December 23. Let's see what the weekly and the monthly charts give you for additional potential price targets out there. Boy, the weekly is going to just simply complete a TD9 count bottom this week. So I don't have any other price targets here or for the monthly, just not enough data out there. So I'd have to come up with something else to give you those price targets out there. So I do hope that that helps you out, John C., with regard to the Russell 2000.
We were supposed to be taking a look at Meta, and I was showing the uh, gasoline future contract. But here's Meta. You see the daily TD9 count top. You see 316.18. It's oscillator and change line. You see the weekly as a potential for roads momentum indicator top. Depends on today's candle formation. At 11.49, it's a bear shooting star. And here you can see that we are in the bar following bar number nine out there. So it's going to complete a TD9 count top no matter what. Doesn't have to close above anything. Bar number nine already completed out there. So now it's just simply a matter of um, you know waiting for the month to end but knowing that that's a TD9 count top and you could have Rose momentum indicator top on the weekly and the daily's got a TD9 count top watch these support levels because this could be telling us about a significant pullback inside of uh, meta now longer term profile levels to be watching about 254 and change out there uh, 230 27 is the break out level on a weekly basis for Meta. So, Mr. Bill, thanks for letting me know that I was showing the wrong charts out there. Uh, and uh, But SNP and Coda, you now have the information that you were looking for. Hope you're right. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, sorry for uh, botching up that uh, last uh, segment there. A good, uh, good uh, uh, suggestion, which is look at the uh, IWM for price target. So watch 162.50. That's the uh, key swing point level that if price closes above, uh, price closes below, uh, we're going to trigger A to B equals CD down patterns, long-term ones. Uh, next areas of support below 162.50 are 146.40 and 137.24, and that's on the IWM. So I do hope that that helps you out, John. Let's take a quick peek here. I think I might have not had the Palantir charts up uh, when we were taking a look at this. Again, real quickly here, price likely going to go target the 1682 level. I do see a new profile that is formed. Maybe this is even since we were on. 1713 is a level of support, and 1844 is a level of resistance. That was on Palantir. Had a request to also take a look at uh, First Solar out here, FSLR. And right now what we've got, let me pull this back, likely a buy the D point. Yeah, you've got a buy the D point pattern that formed a couple of days ago. And that has led to nothing more than a consolidation with inside the profile. So I think this was for SNP or I apologize who it was for. That is a range between 144.83 and 156.41. You're going to complete in First Solar a TD9 You're going to confirm a TD9 cal bottom pattern today on a weekly basis. You'll complete that pattern next week on a monthly basis the level of support would be down at 138.93 that's the bottom of its profile out there so consolidation on the daily td9 count uh, pattern on the uh, weekly out there and uh, the uh, monthly says about 138.93 folks thank you for all those requests out there uh, you've got levels to be watching uh, during the uh, day, those new profile levels, again, 43.33 on the ES Mini, 15.028 on the NQ. Have a fantastic Friday, fabulous weekend. I'll see you back here on Magical, Magnificent, Marvelous Monday. Take care, folks.